first of all you need to go to search and you need to type nvidia in the search once you do so you will have the geforce experience application here you need to make sure to download and install the nvidia geforce experience first so that we can apply the settings in the nvidia geforce experience once you're right inside the nvidia geforce experience you need to go to drivers and you need to find these three vertical dots and once you do so you will have two options here studio driver and the game ready driver we need to select the studio driver and once you do so you need to make sure to click on check for updates and it will say that you have the latest nvidia studio driver installed on your computer the next step is you again need to go to search and you need to type nvidia again and now you need to click on nvidia control panel once you're right inside the nvidia control panel you need to find the adjust image settings with the preview under 3d settings and you need to like the use the advanced 3d image settings and once you're done you need to go to configure surround Sci x and make sure to save your changes before proceeding in X settings you need to select the processor of your gpu right now i have nvidia geforce gtx 6060 ti do not select auto select or cpu you need to select the gpu once you're done you need to go to manage 3d settings now there are two options here you can either apply the program settings or the global settings the program settings will be applied to the program specific and the global settings will be applied to any application that supports the gpu acceleration for the best results it is recommended to go to the program settings you need to select on this drop down and you need to find the adobe indesign and you need to select this if you are unable to locate the adobe indesign you can also add it manually you need to click on add you need to make sure taught by is selected as a to z and you need to find the adobe indesign in this list if you still cannot find the adobe indesign in this list you can click on browse once you click on browse i will tell you the default location of the adobe applications you need to click on my pc you need to go to local disk c you need to find program files and you need to navigate to adobe and right here you have the adobe indesign 2023 you need to click on this and you need to find the indesign that is the application exe file you need to double click on this and it will be automatically loaded in the program settings now let us apply the best nvidia control panel settings for the adobe indesign in the image scaling you need to select on gpu scaling or sharpening and you can adjust this setting according to your needs but i recommend to go for 50 percent do not go with 100 percent it will scale or sharp your image too much and it will apparently add the noise in your images so that's why i recommend to go with 50 percent and you need to click on ok in the any stroppy filtering you need to click on this drop down and you can go with atex if you have a very high end pc if you don't know whether you should select this uh, setting or not you can also select the application control what it will do it will automatically try to use the filtering according to your cpu specifications and if you know you have a very high end pc you can go with 16x or 8x for now i am going to click on atex for the anti aliasing fx AA, you need to make sure it is also turned on for the gamma correction it should be also turned on for anti-aliasing mode it should be enhance the application settings or override any application settings if you go with enhance the application settings it will optimize the usage of gpu but if you go with override it will not let you use gpu in some other applications if you are working on both one or more adobe applications simultaneously so i recommend to use the enhance the application settings for the anti-aliasing settings you need to make sure to select the forex for transparency you can go with forex super sample if you have a very high end pc you can go with 8x i have tested all these settings and these work perfectly fine you can go with 4x for the background application max frame rates you can go with on but we don't need frame rates as we are editing the images some graphics are associated with it not the videos so you can select off for now and click on ok now the CUDA GPUs is the very important setting here you need to make sure you use the GPUs and uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti this is my GPU you need to make sure you have selected the CUDA of your GPU right here and you need to click on ok in the low latency mode it should be off we don't need it because we are not creating any videos you can ignore the max frame rate you can ignore the monitor technology but this setting is important multi frame sample AA MF AA you need to make sure it is on OpenGL GTA compatibility and OpenGL rendering GPU these two settings are very important in the OpenGL GTA compatibility you need to make sure you select the prefer performance or you can also go with auto it will automatically judge what you are trying to do and it will apply the best settings for the best performance you can go with prefer performance and for the OpenGL rendering GPU 
you need to select your graphics card or nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti in this case you need to select the rendering gpu here for the power management mode you need to select maximum performance if you think your adobe indesign is lagging too much you can go with optimal power but i recommend to go with prefer maximum performance you can ignore the refresh rate for the texture filtering you can go with on but if you see too much noise in your editing you can turn it as off in texture filtering negative l or d bias you can go with clamp that's fine in the texture filtering quality you need to make sure you select the performance and uh, if you have very high end pc you can go with high performance for now i am going with high performance in trilinear optimization it should be turned on threaded optimization is very important if you have multiple cpus that will optimize your editing workflow in adobe indesign and you can go with on in triple buffering you should select on you can ignore the vertical sync and virtual reality we don't need this in adobe indesign if you see this vulcan or opengl present method you can turn this as auto if you don't know which setting should i apply here i recommend to go with the preferred layer on dxgi swap chain but it will slow down your computer so i recommend to go with auto and don't forget to click on apply after applying these settings in the nvidia control panel you need to click on apply once you apply all these settings so that's it guys i hope you like this video we have completely optimized the adobe indesign and applied the best settings of nvidia control panel so that adobe indesign can use the gpu while you're editing and get the maximum performance from the adobe indesign and that's it if you have any questions you can comment down below and i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible and thanks again for staying here and have a nice day so that's it guys i hope you like this video we have completely optimized the adobe indesign and applied the best settings of nvidia control panel so that adobe indesign can use the gpu while you're editing and get the maximum performance from the adobe indesign and that's it if you have any questions you can comment down below and i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible and thanks again for staying here and have a nice day staying here and have a nice day